Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to Vlogmas hashtag four. I think we've got that right. We're probably gonna get that wrong along the way. So Christmas has come early and in today's video I will be unboxing a luxury handbag with you guys. I'm so excited! But if unboxings and luxury is not your thing then I don't mind you clicking out of this video and hopefully I will see you in another one really soon. And without further ado, this video is in partnership with Teddy Blake New York. However, all thoughts and opinions are always my own and I just want to reiterate to you guys that I don't accept every gift that comes my way. I get many, many emails and gift offerings in order to do like a, a review or an unboxing of some sort and I don't accept every one of them because I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice and myself a disservice and it's quite wasteful as well. If the product in question doesn't fit very well with my aesthetic, my style and my channel, and most of all you my audience so with all that being said I know you guys are going to love 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 this one so let's get straight into it shall we so Teddy Blake are a luxury handbag designer and these handbags are made from the best quality Italian leather but most importantly, they're at a real fair price point compared to other luxury brands so upon first impressions of the brand, you will notice, like I did, that inspiration has been taken from Hermes. But not everyone can afford a Kelly or a Birkin. And personally, it doesn't matter how much money I ever have, I don't feel like I would be prepared to play games like that. So the Teddy Blake comes in this gorgeous box. It's a black and white box. It's got the Teddy Blake New York on the sides and then it's got these black sides. The box feels really sturdy. It feels like there's something really nice inside this box. It comes with a magnetic uh, flap opening. And as you open it up, it does have the Teddy Blake New York details there and it says design handbags made in Italy with luxury leather each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice so as you can see inside the box we do have this gorgeous dust bag so I'm going to take it out of the dust bag really really impressed with the boxing so far that's a beautiful box for it to come in imagine that with the big ribbon tied around it for christmas that's, that would be lovely so we've got this absolutely beautiful fabric what fabric is that made out of it's absolutely beautiful drawstring at the top let's open her up and see what's inside i've already had a sneak peek and i already chose this bag just so you know um can I just say the smell of the leather straight away just hits you and is there anything better than the smell of leather? I think not. Ta-da! So this is the Kim Stampato Leather 9 inch model. So I will do a 360 view of her right now but I'm gonna pop some extra clips so that you can see this bag in more detail without the flashing lights in the background so that's what she looks like so originally I did choose a camel tan color in this model however it was out of stock so it's very popular they might have it back now so if you guys want to check but I'll pop the picture on the screen here I'm just into all the tan leather accessories belts and handbags this year i think it's been going really well with all the cream tones in my wardrobe so this is in the color light beige and it's more of a taupey shade in real life it's absolutely stunning and like i said i can't get over i can't get over that smell the smell is incredible oh it's incredible if they could put fresh leather scents in a candle i would totally buy it <laughs> So if you're watching Teddy Blake and you want to, you know, move into the designer luxury candles sector, then there's your first scent. <laughs> so it comes with the tag on there, Teddy Blake New York. The tag is very luxury looking and feeling. And then it also has 
some Italian right in here. I'm sure that's more of um, where the leather is from or the quality of the leather. I'm sure it would be that. But I'll have to Google Translate that for you guys later. So yeah, it comes with the tags. We're just going to move that out of the way for now. But upon first inspection, the quality is absolutely outstanding. So this bag in particular is made from the pebbled Stampato leather. So I do like the texture of the luxury Stampato leather. Super soft leather. It's absolutely beautiful. And like I said, it smells absolutely incredible. I hope it never loses that scent, but I'm sure it will over time. <laughs> it's also been stitched with white stitching, which is a really nice contrast to this bag. I would prefer the white stitching over a black stitching, so that's really nice. Also, I'm looking for quality. So for me, quality is in the detail. So it's the stitching I am looking at, and it's just perfection it's absolutely perfection there's no threads hanging anywhere the sizing of the stitches are all the same like length and that's how you can tell the quality of an item usually it's absolute perfection <sighs> the attention to detail is just out standing Teddy Blake are not playing when it comes to making these bags I'm just wowed and you know my middle name is like quality control because things really upset my aura if it's like got a fault or like something like that and or if it's not symmetrical i'm looking for symmetry i'm looking for the stitching there's not one stitch out of sync or out of place so moving on it is a sturdy structured bag you can tell this bag is not going to fall apart easily it's very structured in particular so it's got the gold hardware, which is absolutely stunning. And I'm just double checking all the gold hardware. And again, there's not even one scratch, not one fault. Everything's made very, very well. It's got the little clasps here, which turn and of course open the bag. So let's just open that up and see how well functioning that is oh wow oh wow doesn't that look lovely <laughs> oh my gosh it's beautiful it's also got the teddy blake new york embossing here on the bag so even though it's taking inspiration from hermes clearly um they're not trying to be hermes they're trying to be teddy blake and giving you luxury for less it's even got the gold hardware feet on the bottom so that when you put your bag down on the table, it's not gonna scratch the leather. And it's little details like that that make all the difference when it comes to luxury, I think. Because if a brand's not thinking about little details like that, yet they're expecting you to pay hundreds of your hard-earned pounds on a luxury item, then, you know, there's something wrong with the world. I'm just genuinely blown away with the attention to detail in this bag. I can't stop looking at it. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm just being honest. It's absolutely stunning. There is no faults. I'm almost looking for a fault at this stage. Just so I can say something that might be a little bit negative. Just a little bit of constructive criticism of some sort. But the only thing I can say is we'll just have to wait and see how long this bag holds up for. And that just takes time. I do choose timeless pieces for my collection. Which is why I've gone for this neutral colour. However, there's so many colours to choose from on the website. It's just like they're all just as equally stunning and again like I said I did choose the camel tan colour at first because I feel like that would be a great autumn winter bag which is what my collection is lacking autumn winter bags 
So when Teddy Blake got in touch, I was like, oh my God, I was over the moon. It was like, it was perfect timing. I was already looking for an autumn winter bag. I feel like it goes with absolutely everything in my wardrobe. So it's got this top handle and it also comes with a crossbody strap, which I'm guessing is inside. Beautiful flap style closure, which is absolutely lovely. So we've got all the stuffing inside as you can see here and I can see the crossbody strap already so let's just take that out all the tissue paper and like I said it comes with a crossbody strap more tissue paper in the bottom And then here is the interior of the bag, which is also important when it comes to quality. So if the quality is there present inside the bag, which is generally the area where they could scrape on quality and you wouldn't normally notice, the quality is just excellent throughout. And I can see and feel the interior down below is like of a suede interior. It's absolutely stunning. Oh my God, the smell. I'm just going to climb in this bag and live there forever. <laughs> it's luxury. It's beautiful. So I'm going to just close it back up a second and then we're going to attach the strap and stick to what I was saying. I'm keep getting sidetracked. I'm so excited. So it's got a top handle and it's also got a crossbody. And I love having both because then you've got yourself a bag that's just so wearable. Okay, let me put this down a second and we're going to unravel the crossbody strap. Okay, the only thing I have noticed is the shade of the gold hardware on the crossbody strap is a slightly different, very slightly different shade to the hardware on the bag itself and I'm talking about the hooks in particular let me just check because it's got these studs as well adjustable strap studs and I'm just going to check the hardware against so that is the same so the stud hardware is the same as the bag okay let's attach the strap so again it's got these little hooks so yeah, I do love a crossbody because, oh, that's nice and easy. So yeah, I do love a crossbody because I can wear the bag casually throughout the day um, and be like hands free. And then also when you detach the strap, it becomes an evening bag. So I will be dressing this bag up for you guys to show you how versatile it is and what I mean by that. So you can basically take this bag from dusk till dawn. So it's a day to night handbag. So I would wear it just the top handle if I'm dressed up for the evening and it's small enough for that. And then it's also big enough to fit everything in for during the day and have it as a crossbody strap as well. So let's talk about costs. And I have some little notes down here because obviously Teddy Blake New York is a US brand. So the prices are in dollars and this retails at 449 US dollars, which is equivalent to at today's exchange rate, 370 Great British Pounds. So like I said, that is the nine inch. They also do a larger size. They do an 11 inch as well. And that retails for $100 more or 100 UK pounds more. They also use a range of different leathers. You don't have to have this pebbled leather. You can have it in a croc. You can have it in a lizard um, leather as well. And like I said, you can cho choose your size. They also have other designs and models of handbags. And I will leave a few others that I really like as well down below because there's so many to choose from. If you go on that website, I can guarantee you're going to find a handbag that you really, really want. So like I said, I've gone for the smaller one because 
I don't want a big bag as a crossbody, as an everyday bag. Um, I don't want a big bag and I just feel like this is the perfect sizing for me personally. It's going to fit in there everything I need. So I'm just going to run through what fits in roughly and what I tend to carry in my handbag. So I borrowed Joelle's phone because she's got a really big large phone and I just wanted to show you that if you had the biggest largest phone it would fit totally in the bag there's even it would totally fit in the bag and I just wanted to demonstrate that even if you had the largest phone it would fit into this bag and then I have a lipstick which can go in there I've also got my keys they can go in there although I probably won't put them in there because I don't want to scratch the leather I also like to pick pick I also like to carry a hair clip with me in case my hair needs to go up or some a hair tie of some sort and then usually I have gloves I can only find one guys I don't know where my other gloves gone I hope I haven't lost it so a pair of leather gloves as well and card wallet. I don't normally carry a card wallet. I actually need a new card wallet. I'm sure Teddy Blake do accessories as well. So I might have to have a little look for a card wallet to match this bag, which will be a nice little extra touch actually. But it's got the inside compartment and that is where I usually store my cards actually. So and then the nice and safe tucked away inside the bag itself as you can see there's so much more room down in here i can fit my whole hand in there still and i've got absolutely everything i need inside let's close it up and see what it looks like oh also it's got three notches here on the closure so that you can tighten up the bag if you needed to say hello to my new everyday autumn winter bag i absolutely love it and i already can't wait to take it on its first outing so i will leave all the details for teddy blake down in the description box down below oh i'm just popping in at the end here i forgot to say one to five business days this bag arrived in i was really really struck by how quick the delivery was so i'm sure you would get it in time for christmas if you're looking to get a handbag or to gift a handbag to somebody else this year for christmas they also have payment options on the website and i think they do like an afterpay system as well so let's put the beauty down shall we <laughs> but i would just like to thank teddy blake for partnering with me on today's video and as always, thanks to you guys for watching as well as if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't get these kind of opportunities. So that's a wrap for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little luxury unboxing and hopefully you've got some inspiration for not only yourselves or maybe for somebody else for Christmas. I would love to know your thoughts on the bag itself. What do you guys think? Are there any luxury handbags you've got your eye on this year for Christmas? Let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for inspiration as well. But all your thoughts and opinions are welcome as long as you keep them kind. And I will meet you in the comments after this video because I love to chat to you guys. But until the next video, I will see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.